Hey, welcome back to the Music Producer channel. I'm Paul Wallen and as you can probably guess by the title of this video, I will show you the coolest and easiest method to isolate, extract or leave vocals out of any possible track out there that has vocals in it. I also want to share with you the greatest hacking software tool so far that I came across very recently and it's Isotope RX7 Audio Editor and it's funny because I've known this software for quite a while and the thing that I came across recently is its ability, its really profoundly accurate ability to isolate high quality vocals from any possible song. And what really shocked me guys is that the results are pretty profound and of a high quality compared to other methods or programs like that. And by the way, this vocal isolation algorithm works just as good the other way around in case you want to get an instrumental version out of your song. Okay, let's finally get to the good stuff and I'm gonna show you everything about it. Okay, I'm gonna show you this software and how to pull it off in there and also one old quote-unquote emergency method to isolate vocals from a song but it's gonna require for you to have the song itself and its instrumental version, i.e. version where there are no vocals in it. So it's kind of tricky and not always useful so let's consider that the hard way and we will get to it of course after all the good stuff. I gotta warn you, the results from the Isotop software are not gonna be shiny and perfectly isolated from instruments like in those, you know, high quality acapellas from remix packs. But the quality would be just enough for non-official remix or as they call it, bootlegs. And of course the best way to get this high quality acapella officially recorded, not isolated, is to contact the author of the song for the remix pack or to find it out there on the internet if there is any, of course. Okay, so let's dive right into this software. After you install it, you need to launch the standalone app .exe file, as in this case I'm having in my Windows. Not the VST version inside any of your DAW, it's just that simple, it's just a standalone app. Then what you need to do here is just to drag and drop the song you want to get an acapella from over here on this field, or choose the file itself and its location through this explorer. The file itself could be in an MP3 or WAV format. From what I know, it's best to have the WAV file, uh, because your resulting acapella quality is dependent on the quality of the, of the file itself. Yeah, there is that, and let's try it out on the following track. This ain't the first time, this ain't the last time, this is now when... When we loaded up the song, then we go to this right panel and search for the command that says Music Rebalance here. Click it. You can clearly see what's going on over here. We have four faders that represent different types of instruments in any song, with their corresponding volume level, of course. Those that would be voice, bass, percussion and other. Other stands for various synths and sounds. And if your goal is to leave only vocals out of the whole song, we pull all the faders all the way down, except for the voice, obviously, all the way down to minus infinity. Now at this stage, dependent on the instrument density in the track, you want to tweak those sensitivity parameters. This way it's a harsh isolation, this way it's a slight isolation. The more instruments there are in the track during vocal performance, the harder it gets for the vocal isolation algorithm to be applied and isolate vocals properly. And of course, the harsh one is gonna influence the upcoming vocal quality in the more negative way so it's going to sound duller, thinner or of a less quality. This thing over here I want to keep at advanced joint channel. Basically at this point I suggest for a start you stick with those default settings over here and see what's gonna happen to the song. And if you will not be satisfied with the results inside your mix later on, because that is probably the reason why you've started all this process anyway, you get back here in this soft and tweak it up or down. So that's the plan. Then we hit this render button and after a few minutes it will be done and there you have it. Now we may close this window. This ain't the first time, this ain't the last time, this is now and this is forever. Give me your love now, show me you need me, give me something, give me... There used to be guitar and some percussions from like strumming this guitar, but you can hear some artifacts, it's not shiny of course, but it's still enough of quality to implement within a mix in your remixes or mixes. It just so happens to be that even though there are artifacts in your acapella from some of the instruments in the original song, but after this isolated acapella being put in the mix with other instruments in your remix or bootleg, you can hardly hear any of those artifacts. So you probably shouldn't even worry about sounds and errors like that. 
but you might say that was a very easy to process out vocals example. In this case, it's just a guitar playing in the background, right? So let's try one of my other vocal tracks, the one that is really heavy on those instruments in the breakdown slash verse part. So let's close this tab over here. So how about that? We've hung around long enough to figure out choose this part to isolate vocal from it so I wouldn't have to process all the song and it's gonna take a longer time okay this software remembers all the settings all the old settings so I'm gonna hit the render here let's take a listen now I know you never plan to fit me in I should have ran I should have never let this begin stop leaving me hanging and the other way around, if you want to get rid of the vocals from the song, you tweak it vice versa. Like you pull this all the way down, this voice fader, and all of that you leave by default and hit render. And you will get yourself the instrumental version of the song. Now we're done with the whole song and we leave only vocals out. And the only thing that is left to do is to save it as we for mp3 file dependent on what was the original format of the song. So I'm going to hit the file, save as. WAV file. I'm gonna save it over here. After that one, you will be using it as an acapella for your remixes, mixes, or bootlegs. Obviously, there are going to be those unnecessary parts that you want to get rid of. You want to just cut it out. We've hung around long enough to figure out. Looking back when I used to be enough younger than you could have ever known. You better do this process in your DAW. So yeah, just like that, you can pull this trick off really fast and easy method of isolating not only vocals out of any song as you've probably noticed. Uh, the classic method to get an a cappella out of a song, the emergency way I call it, the one that requires for you to have not only the song itself but along with it the instrumental version of it. If you have those two things, you've probably found it or downloaded it from the almighty internet, you can do it even faster then. You just need your DAW, in my case it's gonna be an FL Studio, then drag and drop those two files, the song itself and the instrumental version, onto the playlist. Then get them perfectly lined up in sync so they would go tick and tick. And the only thing that you need now is to reverse the polarity of one of those audio tracks. It doesn't matter which one you pick, the track itself or the instrumental version. In FL Studio Channel, Fruity Audio Clip Sampler, you have this reverse polarity command over here. I'm gonna hit it. And as you can probably guess, it's just reversing the polarity of the waveform. It doesn't do much to the sound. But now, when you hit play, magically you will get yourself a pretty clear a cappella just the same. We've hung around long enough to figure out. The only thing you do is hold me down. All due to the physical process and audio domain that is called phase cancellation, where the audio waveform cancels itself out when it's being met with its reverse copy, leaving out only the data that those two versions do not share. In this case, that data is vocal. Yeah, you can pull it off at the channel level over here by this command, or if you don't have this one in your DAW, then you just send those two versions to their own mixer track like this, and you can pull it off at the mixer track level. This command over here does it, reversing the polarity. And then you want to render it down, like hit export and choose the WAV file. Then probably clear it up all the same from all the dirty stuff and use it in your mixes or remixes. Yeah guys, those were the best so far in high quality methods to isolate vocals out of any possible song out there so you could implement them in your remixes and bootlegs. But please keep in mind if the artist is approachable, it's better to just contact him or her in person and politely ask for a remix pack so you could release an official remix probably with the support from the author itself if he's gonna like it if you found this video helpful smash a like and if you are a smart 
guy you want to subscribe to this channel and by god do not forget to switch all notifications so you wouldn't miss any new tutorials from me in the future and for now i wish you all the best in your production and i will see you in the next videos take care